I am an international student from Zimbabwe and I originally left my country and moved to England where I worked in hospitality for two years. Then I got the opportunity to take part in, a, in an international student exchange work experience program through IWEP and that's how I came to the United States, spent about 18 months working in different resorts then decided I wanted to finish, to finish school here because I really liked it a lot. Then I applied to Santa Barbara City College where I got my um, associate's degree in economics and another in math and science. Then I heard about Antioch and here I am. I'm an individual that is interested in social entrepreneurship and a lot, so I'm involved in a lot of projects back home and I do a lot of collaborations with other social entrepreneurs around the world. And and AUSB has, you know, the, the praxis for social justice and its core purposes were very attractive. And I got the opportunity to tailor my degree around those, um, around my interests and my future goals. So that was really great. And of course, the small classrooms, the discussion-based um, learning, that was very appealing because I like to talk. <laughs> I have a passion for my continent. I carry it in my heart everywhere I go. And with everything that I do, I make sure that I tailor it around the passions that I have for my continent. So my dreams entail working in education and economic development and reform, because I believe that education is the, the key to resolving my continent's challenges right now. I mean, people can throw as much aid as they want over there, but unless and until Africa's children are educated and they get to understand and identify the resources that they sit on and realize that they themselves are a great and valuable resource, then nothing is going to change. So that's what I'm passionate about. That's what um, drives me. That's what actually motivated me to come out here and pursue higher education so I could go back make a difference and be one of the, the people that will bring about positive change. My mother grew up at a time when we were, when our country was still colonized and so did not have the opportunity to go to school. In fact, she did not even complete high school. But, and the same applies for my grandmother. She only went up to standard two and my mother went, only went up to standard six. And standard six, I believe, is junior high or middle school, I think. But they didn't let that stop them at all. That's why I say they were the greatest entrepreneurs ever. I mean, of all people that I've met, that I've seen, that I've come across, they, would, they had the ability to take basically anything and everything. If it's tomatoes, if it's onions, if it's sweets, if it's biscuits, they would buy it wholesale, package it up, sell it, cross-border trading. Those are two examples of very strong and industrious African women. And I think that once um, if I have the opportunity to help cultivate women and help um, teach them the, the skills that they need to actually turn those ingenious entrepreneurial skills into full-on businesses that can sustain their children, then you have children, all children, male and female, being educated and the family being well off and it ends up spreading out to each and every individual country. Being here and, and, and studying in this country here at AUSB, to me is a dream. It, I mean, it's a dream come true, but it wasn't just my dream. It was my mother's dream, my grandmother's dream. I think I had a great education here at AUSB. I, not only in terms of the academics, but also life learning, because I had amazing professors that cared beyond the classroom that encouraged us even with the projects that I, I'm involved in. I had professors that were very encouraging. I had professors that had a lot of advice to give that were, they were more mentors than anything else and to me that is a very valuable part of education that a lot of people do not take into consideration. It's not just about the grades. It's not just about um, what's in the classroom, but I got to learn beyond the classroom. At AUSB, they're opening doorways and planting a seed for positive change.